our company actually owns a farm called Urban Farms down in Southern Oregon. It's 280 acres. It's mixed use, so we have an outdoor grow and then two indoor facilities. Um, it's They're actually very high, high-tech greenhouses, so it's considered full spectrum indoor, so we do get some sunlight and we always love the sunlight whenever we can use it. And then we can modify for temperature and for, um, uh, for sun, for lights if needed. So um, this is some of our outdoor, some of our outdoor fire. We keep everything in a Mylar bag, really important. Um, normally when things are transferred to us, they are transferred in you know, turkey bags or whatever, and we like to transfer them into Mylar because it keeps the sunlight away from the flower, mm -hmm. so it doesn't degrade, and it keeps it very fresh smelling and so produced as well. So this, this is like blueberry cookies by Urban Farms. Smells fabulous. Yes, mm -hmm. this is a good one. Mm. Um, and that so is that be, a sativa? Um, I don't know what blueberry hybrid. Are most of the, the um, brands that are coming out are they mostly hybrid, or are they really specifically? You know, hybrid, hybrid really, hybrid really is like the genetic wise. You know, genetics are getting so watered down, and people are doing so much breeding that um, actually we're having tissue cultures run on all of our plants through phylos bioscience so that we can get down to the original genetics of all of our strains to make sure that we're truly growing what we think we're growing. Because right. sometimes you may think you're growing a train wreck and you're growing a blue dream. Um, you don't know, you got a cut, you got a plant, a little baby plant and you started there. And um, unless there was a tissue culture or some sort of genetic um, test done on that plant, you don't know. You right. don't really know what it is. So right. uh, genetics have been pretty watered down throughout the growth of cannabis. So we're glad that there's companies that are starting to have genetic banks and you can have tests run to make sure that you have authentic strains. That's excellent. Yes. And so um, Blue Dream's actually a staple yes, at Urban is. Farms and it's a staple in the industry. Yes, it's a it wonderful is. sativa. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, right here. Very nice. Yes, yeah. and that's like a 24, 25 percenter. Um, this is outdoor, so uh, you know it's it's going to be you know a little darker in color than indoor. Um, I prefer outdoor because I like it the OG way, and um, and so I like clean nutrients. Everything is pesticide free in Oregon. There's no way you could pass pass our testing. Our taste te our state testing standards are so intense that um, you're safer smoking our weed than you are eating our organic grapes. Seriously. <laughs> in the state. <laughs> I love it. What does OG stand for? Uh, uh, original. Oh, it's is like that what that it is? original, ah. OG. Yeah, so when you hear like OG Kush, OG Kush is like, an, you know, the original Kush. And, Very good. And I, so, I was always wondering what that stood yeah, for. Yeah, an OG. Perfect. Um, we represent several different concentrates brands. This is Drop Science. They are... Um, really cool guys who are committed to high high quality co2 cartridges and so um, even down to their branding is just really premium that's very light and clean for co2 oil um, you can get co2 that's darker depends on you know good in good out with extraction so good flour in good oil out and they only use nug run so they're not they're not using a bunch of trim that can make the oil a little dirty they have a variety of strains they are wonderful at their marketing, so we love Drop yeah, Science. Nice packaging. Um, Stephanie's, where's one of our premium indoor? Who? Step that, back that, to the far corner. Okay, there. cool. Thank it's you. all over there. Awesome. Uh, we also represent Gaia Chocolates. Mm. Gaia is um, has wonderful premium, premium chocolates, high end chocolatier. They have everything from dark espresso to raspberry white bites and. Um, Everything is 10 milligrams per per piece, and I think a total weight of about 50 milligrams. So, what's an average milligram that someone might take? Is that 10? Then it must be that doesn't 10, get you totally. You know, if you're just new edge. getting started, if you're if you're somebody who's really new to cannabis, I would say start with five milligrams. You can always take more. You can't untake it. <laughs> and edibles, you know, the way that they hit you hit you through your body digesting it, it's a it's a longer term high. And longer term is only fun if it's as high as you want to be. So I would say start low at like five milligrams, work your way up to ten. I'm about a ten to fifteen milligram um, consumer. Um, I love I prefer over chocolate things like hard candies. So uh -huh. here's like apple hard candies. Um, they have root beer. They have 
um, tutti frutti, lots of different fun, fun um, flavors. And Lemon. they come in different milligrams as well. Yeah, they're 10 milligrams per per candy, and I think a total of um, I think the total weight is 50 milligrams per pack. So. Cascadia Herbals is my favorite tincture on the entire market. They are amazing. Actually, I'll have you leave with some. And it is um, an incredibly high quality process. And the cool thing about a tincture is you get to control your high. So if you were to do sublingual and drop it under your tongue, you're getting more of that Delta 9 high. You get higher quicker and then you come back down. So it's great if you're looking for that short term boost, you have something stressful happen, something's going on, you can give yourself a quick medication you feel the effects quick and then you come down quick. You could also choose to put this like in a cup of tea where you can digest it. And then if you digest it, it's more of an edible high. So their whole motto is absorb your high. And so you're absorbing it either from under the tongue or in the stomach. It makes a really fun mocktail. So when we had our Christmas party, we invited them. They set up a really cool mocktail bar with spritzers and then you got to ch choose which strain you wanted to add to dose up your drink. So, Seriously, yes. they call that a mocktail. A mocktail, I, which I think is kind of funny because there's nothing mock about it. Like, no. <laughs> it'll take you, <laughs> take it'll you, mock at you, depending on how many it'll drops you put in. you when you're done. <laughs> yeah, so they have a wonderful variety. They're actually coming out next week. We're launching their breath spray, mm -hmm. which is like a one milligram per per spray into the mouth. And it's like a banaca. I mean, it's a really wonderful breath spray. <laughs> yeah. Does it that. get you high when you... Uh, one milligram won't, yeah, won't do yeah, a whole right. lot, but yeah. you know, you take two or three, and it'll. And we, we're we're. I love the microdosing aspect of cannabis, right. where it can. Um, I, I know even just for family members of ours that it has helped with sleeping, helped with mood stabilization, helped with stress, coping, you know, all kinds of things that microdosing can really level you out for. So you yes. don't necessarily need to get high. Yes. You can you can have a nice light effect for your body but without really that um that head high right so, right yeah. which is what um edibles or or when you take it orally mm -hmm. is different than when you smoke it yes right. microdosing you know smoking is obviously going to be a little different your, your chances of getting high are pretty good if you smoke something if it's cannabis <laughs> um but if you were to eat it absorb it sublingual drops then you can kind of control the dosing and so um, that's what we suggest people do. For those who really like next level stuff and like to dab, this is, I guess you could say, if there was a way to freebase weed, this would be the way to do it. Um, and, and so we have what's called dabable distillates. And so here we are with like vibrant, um, this is Vibrant Highs by Far Out Farms. So 69% THC. Oh my. And you would use this product with a dab rig. So you would have some sort of, you would have a device and you're able to touch this oil right on the device. It gets very hot, like over 700 degrees, and then you inhale it from there. And, um, and it'll definitely hit you in a different way. I find that it's more speeds me up, whereas flower more slows me down. Um, hmm. But yeah, um, Far Out Farms are, they're like OG hippies. We absolutely love representing them. They. Uh, they really know their stuff on their flower. And again, good flower in gets good, good flower in gets good oil out. So we appreciate people who are experts of their process. Most definitely. Um, so would you say that, that with the market growing the way it is, would you say that these are people that would prefer to use cannabis, marijuana?